Kazuto Ayoka vs. Ryuji Fukunaga. To those who don't know, they recently fought over in Tokyo, Japan. Fight ended up going the distance. It went the whole 12 rounds. And Ayoka successfully defended his WBO title. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. Please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I honestly haven't seen the full fight. Um, I can't find it anywhere on the internet. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Uh, but yeah, last day of the year, 2021, ends off with this boxing fight over in Japan. Um, from what I've read, it sounded very competitive. The judges had it 118-110, 116-112, 115-113. 1, Two judges had it close, one judge had it really wide. Um, yeah, from what I've read, judging from people's reactions, it looks like it was a competitive fight. Most people had Ayoka winning. There's a few that actually had uh, Fukunaga winning, which is quite surprising. Because going into this fight, I honestly thought it was going to be an easy win for Ayoka. But, um, but yeah, it ended up being a tougher fight than expected. Uh, yeah, from what I've read, it was an entertaining fight. A lot of back and forth between the two. And in the end, obviously, Ayoka uh, defeated the... Uh, a tough contender, tough challenger who stepped in last minute, Fukunaga. Yeah, props to Fukunaga, man, for stepping in to save this event over in Japan. Anyway, have you guys noticed that both fighters covered up their tattoos? You can see the back of Fukunaga. His back is fully covered with um, powder that matches his skin uh, because he has a big ass tattoo on his back. And as for Ayoka, he has white powder covering up his sleeve and the side of his body. Um, to those who don't know, tattoos in Japan are highly taboo. Uh, if you do decide to go to Japan and you your tattoos are visible, if you have them on your sleeve, um, you know where it, where it's visible, I recommend using long sleeves or something to cover it up because, uh, from what I've read, it's it's uh, not really. I'm not sure if it's illegal. I don't think it is, but it, it's something that you know a lot of people don't. Uh, I guess they, they don't like to see over in Japan. That's why they, they're doing it. I don't know. Oh, it's a Japanese thing. I, I don't know. I've never been to Japan. Would love to visit one day. Uh, I have no tattoos, FYI. So, it should be no problem with me. Uh, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. Anyway, with this win, Kazuto Ayoka improves to 28-2. and two, 15 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. Uh, success with defending his title, like I said. When it comes to what's next, obviously the fight that we all want to see is against the IBF champion, Joe Nankajas. Uh, that was the fight that we were supposed to see, but it did not happen due to COVID restrictions. So hopefully we can see Ayoka, Joe Nankajas sometime in the next uh, few months or sometime within the first half of 2022. And hopefully we see uh, the winner of Ankajas, Ayoka fight the winner of Estrada versus uh, Chocolatito in the future. Uh, as for Ryoji Fukunaga, again, props to him for stepping in and, uh, you know, props to him for, for making a tough fight. Uh, I know I did not see the fight, but judging from what I've read, sounds like he definitely was a game fighter who showed up not just to take a paycheck, but to actually win this fight. So, uh, you know, props to him for actually going out there and trying to win. Uh, back to the drawing board for him, he's 35 years old, so he's kind of getting up there in age. Um, you know, it he, he seems like he's, he would be a good test for the young up-and-coming fighters. Uh, from Japan, so we'll see. I mean, he's the OPBF champion, so he's and he's also the Japanese champion. So, um, like I said, would be a good test for domestic for the domestic level of Japan. Anyway, if you did see the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.